Hello everybody, welcome back to another cool video. So in this video I'm gonna show you my new pickaxe. Not the old pickaxe but the version 2. It's the best in my opinion. So let's first try it in action. I just made a little game review that you can edit not copy locked as you see it took me like five hours to create this pickaxe because it's really efficient and filtering enabled and a lot of stuff so as you see like in here it's, it's simple by the way the handle it's not mine I got it from the toolbox but everything else I created as you see, there is a GY2 right there. Let me. Just a little. Okay. You can change the colors of the GY and a lot of stuff. So, now let's see how to set it on your game. Set up it. Set topics. So, you're gonna go. To Roblox Studio. First, you're gonna go to the link bull, uh, in the description of this video, and you're gonna take and you're gonna like take the or purchase with zero Roblox the model or the package, and you're gonna get to Roblox Studio or your game or a new game or whatever. You can find it in the toolbox, my models, and you're gonna find it right. It's named the best pickaxe in the world, like good Sotako. And as you see, okay. So the first thing, even if you are watching that video and you understand everything, make sure to read this. Read me. So to like to understand everything about the model okay i'm back so as i told you make sure to read this carefully so now let's go to set up, set up it so this is just a thumbnail okay so the first thing you're gonna have this minor gy and take it over or into the starter gy and the manager script should go to the replicate not the replicate search the server script service and the pickaxe should go into the starter pack or if you are giving it it's okay like you are giving it with the script or something it's okay it's gonna work. so and the events you gonna take you're gonna do like this you can right click and find select children and you're gonna do control x or cut and paste it in the replicated storage or actually not uh, sorry so you are just gonna take this events folder to the replicate storage as you see it has some events because this is a filtering enabled compatible so and you can have just the readme and the thumbnail so you're just gonna delete the package if you don't want it so yeah and now to make mineable blocks we should first make a model name it blocks model model name it blocks just like this you doesn't gonna script anything you're just gonna take this steps and then it's gonna be really easy to add more blocks and stuff you can add the blocks to with scripts if you are a professional in scripting so you're gonna make up any block as you want so let's make like 4 by 4 and 
and we need to do like smooth material something like this name it or don't name it it doesn't really matter to the my script so stone like you're gonna put it in the blocks and now what you're gonna do is insert into this stone block insert like a uh, int value with the int value or integer value like this and you're gonna name it wait let me see you're gonna go to do which I really got this what is this okay there we go name it durability you can change that name so it's gonna be easier like durability okay and you're gonna duplicate this with control D or click that and you're gonna add in the first max so it's really important to what you choose it to the durability it should be the max durability because uh, you're gonna crash the or not crash really not like anyway so let's do like here like three max durability and three durability you can make here two so even if the it is but you can't make like in here four and in here three so max it should be maximum so yeah let's do just three for now as you see it's the same okay and if you want that bl that block when destroyed and like you want it to drop some items then you're gonna put another value that's optional that's the right here that i'm gonna do it's optional just if you want it to drop so it's gonna be end value i think yep end value and you're gonna name it drop like this and here you're gonna set how much drops you want by the way the script doesn't gonna accept okay i'm back guys so as i told you it's gonna accept just um numbers greater than zero if it's zero or less then it doesn't gonna accept it doesn't really gonna because i have a condition that it checks if it's like negative or zero so yeah it should be int so let's do like four in here like let's make another dude so i'm gonna just make just um or actually let's do it in the camera okay so like let's do like something like this let's like change the colors or even the, anything you want it doesn't matter I just want to give you something you can like change the drop like five, two, two, so now let's try it out stay here okay so we have the pickaxe hmm why it doesn't work i think something not good yep be just one model okay guys i got the problem uh because i did capital b so it should be like this blocks that like it's sensitive so yeah as you see it's <laughs> and it drops too and the size of the stuff based on the size of the thing and the, how it drops so bye for now